Hi people, my name is Mika and I would like to welcome you on another new video. It's something special because we have Smile World Cup coming and I would like to talk about it and maybe invite you to watching this awesome occasion and awesome stuff. And I would like to talk about teams and brackets and stuff like that. So if you don't really know, don't know what teams are there and what players, I will I would like to tell you this, and maybe you want to watch it then, if you want. And I would start from the beginning. I see brackets in front of me, so I want to start in on match one, match two, match three, match four, and then continue, and we will see what happened. So first team I have here is Epsilon Esports. Epsilon is one of the famous teams in Smite and Epsilon in general. They are pretty known, known company and they know what they are doing. We have Adapting in Jungle, which is, who's a, he is just awesome jungler. I think he's one of the best junglers in Smite next to somebody else and I will talk about him later. I will not talk about Weekend because Weekend is not qualified with his team, not on PC. So, so Adapting is one of the best jungles in SWC, I think, in my opinion. We have Dimi in Seoul. Dimi is a very good player, obviously, because they are at Worlds and he is playing for Epsilon. He's not that much famous, but he's a good player and he has a good connection with Adapting. So that's what you want from your team. Yamin is another awesome player. He's playing mid, so he can just kill everybody with his mages. He's awesome player. He can surprise, so that's it. I refer is Guardian. He's he's good Guardian. I think there are a lot better Guardians in Smite, but he's a good good support. And that's why he is in the SWC. And finally, we have Emilito Hunter. Emilito is awesome, awesome hunter. He he is. He has good KDA. He's really he knows what to do. He really knows what to do, and he know how to do it. So he know where to go if you want to go gold or rotation or stay in lane. He just that good player. Okay, that's Epsilon Esports. And under we have Cyrus Gaming. I really don't know these guys because they are from Latin America. They are not that famous like uh, North America and Europe teams. But I I want to I want to tell you who's playing for them. We have XTT as Hunter. We have Awareness as mid laner, Nosever at, at solo, Betone as support, and Onur as jungle. And that's all I can tell you because they are not that famous to me and not I don't know really about them. And I want to apologize, I really don't know these teams from Latin America and Brazil and Asia. So I want to focus on Europe and North America team because I think they are the highest teams in SWC. So that's why I want to talk about them. Another is Pain Gaming. They they are from Brazil and that's another team I don't know really about. So I will just tell them their names. We have Schultzen in mid, Nagar as support, Arcanjo as hunter, Stalker as solo, and Mandrugado as jungle. I don't know if I said it right, but I hope I did. That's another team. They are from Brazil, and I and they are probably lucky to be with another not that famous team, which is oh my god, B. Uh, they are Chinese team. But Chinese and Asia is not the best in Smite. Not now. We have games like League of Legends, Dota, and other StarCraft. They are dominating, but not in Smite because Smite is is not that long in Asia. So that's why Europe and North America is better than Asia. But they are really good players. I saw them play last year 
it was maybe this team, it was OMG and they were really good, they really know what they are doing but they were playing against TSM I think and TSM just crushed them and they were better in th picks and bands and every everywhere so because they are TSMs, they are famous, not some Asian team but they have jungle called Nifang, Maker as Hunter, Shimmer as Guardian, Penmi at Soul Lane and Myth at Mid Lane that's all, all I can say to but they are really good players and I think you can watch them and I think they will beat Pain Gaming. I'm not sure but I think it's it, it's a little 50-50 or maybe a little bit more percentage for oh my god but we will see. Another match free is Enemy. Enemy is m f more known team they are from North America and they are playing against Avantgarde and I think they will easily beat Avantgarde because Avantgarde are not that famous, not that high, not that good players and enemy is just, they were just amazing at last cups or last qualifications and stuff like that so they beat I think Cloud9 Ne not uh, Envy, they beat Envy, and Envy was one of the great. Envy were was be the best team in match before, so they were first place, and Envy beat them. So that talks about how good they are and how good team they are. And we have Adjust a jungle. He's really famous player. He's really fast. He. He is good assassin player like every jungler in SWC. We have Chaos at mid lane, we have Soul Machine at Soul Lane, we have Pain Divide, Pain Diviande, Guardian and Vishum Hunter. Vishum is a really awesome player, he's really aggressive, I think he played Rama and it was very good. He can hit his shots from ultimate and Pain Diviande he's a he just player he knows where to go as support. That's really important if you are support. You need to rotate at your mid lane, at your soul, not soul lane, not, not much, but in duo lane and support your jungler if he needs help. And he's really good at it. He's, I think this is his main thing to do. And he's really good guardian for Vishum because Vishum is, I think, really aggressive. So, it's good to have support like this, he can support you in your attacks, in your aggressivity. Next team we have Avangarde. Avangarde is another not that famous team. But we have we have we have I lost it, sorry. We have bracket. Okay. We have Sporks at Solane, Roof at Jungle, Ochita in mid, subfloor in Hunter and Biggie as support. That's all I can tell to we have it's just they are just avant-garde. They are probably good because they are as they are in SWC, but 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 I know I don't think they can beat enemy. I really don't don't think it will be a surprise for me if they did. But and I want them to kill them because it would be awesome to see an, a new team beat team like enemy, which is in smile for a long time. And they are famous, so it will be awesome. Uh, last match, not not last match, but last one of one of the first matches. It's Fnatic against Q Q G Q G, and I think that's all you need to know. I will tell you who are players. I will not tell you who are players in Q G because I didn't find anything about them. I I really tried. I was looking for it at Smite, at everywhere, nothing was there. And I'm sorry about it. If you are watching something from this team, I'm sorry. But if you, if you guys know them, you can type me in comments and tell me what are, how good are they and how good they are playing. But I won't talk about Fnatic. Fnatics are just awesome team, awesome Europe team. One of the best teams ever. I think if you want 
points on your on your ticket. I think Fnatic is one of the ways to go because they have a lot of matches, so you can get a lot of points. And they are, if they beat uh, Quigi, sorry for that, Quigi, then they will be playing probably enemy, and that's fifty fifty. I think enemy were good in last matches but frantic is good all the way all the time they just hold the average so it's fanatic i really don't know what to say more but they are really good and i think they will beat enemy and then probably fight with 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 i don't know i just lost that but sorry i will put you your brackets i will put brackets on on screen so you can you can watch them okay they will i think they will play against paradigm or, or cloud9 if they want so it will be really hard and i think it's cloud9 against them so we will see oh it's not sorry when you offer, uh, you will see that in your records and, and, but they are fanatic, but they can, they can beat everyone if they have a good match. So we will see about that. We have Baja as Guardian. He's awesome player. He's really tanky, but really aggressive too. So he's a really good support and you should watch, watch him because he is awesome player. Not the best. I think Guardian, but he's good. Captain Twig in jungle, he's really aggressive, he's awesome player and his rotations are so good. His gods are so good, he really understands every god he plays, so it's awesome. And he's just awesome at supporting other lanes. Maniac, Maniac is so lane, he's awesome. He, he's one of my favorite players in general and my favorite in soul lane. Maybe Omega is more, but Omega is not a SWC, so that's why Maniac is one of my favorite because he's just good looking guy and and just awesome player with Chuck and other warriors, so that's Maniac. And it's awesome that Maniac is playing for Fnatic. Uh, in the only lane, we have Real Zeke's Hunter. He he was just one of the best players, I think, in Fnatic for a long time. He's just getting them and he hits everything he wants. He play, I don't know what he played, it was maybe Rama or something like that. And he was awesome with it, he hit, he hit every, every his ultimate, so that's why he's awesome player. And he can aim really, really good. And we have Zyros in mid, he is just awesome mage player, he can surprise with stuff like Neve and maybe others, I don't know what other you can put there, maybe Chiron and I don't know, you can put them Jinjiang in mid lane, so I think he can surprise you and that's a thing about Fnatic, they, in picks and bands you really don't know what is coming where, because Fnatic can, can play everything every god in every position so that's scary about them and you should always watch for it and control what they are using or they were using last match i think this is very important to know for other teams what they were playing in last matches and finally we have one of the two best teams they are currently best teams in smite we have we start with paradigm paradigm are Europe team and I have tickets on them because I think they were just they are just awesome they won every single fight I think maybe they lost no they win against Epsilon last time and they were they are just awesome they were little little team but they grew and they got high and they are just they are just team. They know what they are doing and they are stick together like as a team. And team is Trix Tank as Guardian. Trix Tank is really aggressive Guardian. He's he's building tanky but still aggressive. He goes always all in 
in team fight, just jump there and use your ultimate, use a stunt and just prepare girls for other team. We have Kofred in jungle. He's he's good jungler, but I think he's losing. Oh, he's losing against Just and Andy in Cloud9 because he's not the best jungler. I think he's good jungler, but he's not the best. And I think he's maybe the the Achilles heel in Paradigm because he's not that good. I think we have Zelia in solo lane. Zelia is. I think really defensive player, he just can stay under his tower and wait for his opportunity with players like Chuck and more tanky warriors, not not stuff like, I don't know, you can play Bakasuna in solo lane and stuff like that. I think he is more tanky guy and just very defensive playing type of player, type of player, player type, okay. We have Fumbo as Hunter. Fumbo is awesome Hunter. He is really fast. He's really aggressive. He really, he really hit his shots all the way. He was playing, I think, Shabalonki, and he was awesome. He was getting kills, which is very important with Shabalonki. So that's why he is good Hunter, and he is getting paradigm a lot because they are maybe losing someday, but he will catch catch other team in bad positions and kill them because he's just from baller and he's ha he, you can see it is guy he's having fun playing this game so that's why he is so strong because he is having fun lobster in mid he just play who is playing smile for a long time and i know about him for a long time he's just like every other mid gamer mid mid player I think he's not that surprised. He can surprise like other teams, but he can play his mages really good and knows what he's doing and there is support his his team will get kills for from baller. So he's he's a good player he he's a good player but oh, I think only with mages like Janus, Agni Nuva, Poseidon and others, so that's why, that's why. And finally, I will finish with the highest or the biggest team I think there is. And they are current champions, not not all the way, they were Cook, Cook Prime last year, but they are currently champions and they are awesome, famous, and good like good like all all the way because they are cloud nine and their team has nothing to no weak spot there. They have good subs, they have good everything and that's why are they probably the big the best team ever and I have tickets on them because I think they will win the whole tournament. It will be fanatic paradigm on cloud nine, I think. It's only my suggestion, but it's my idea, or how to say it. I think Paradigm, Fnatic, and Cloud9, and Cloud9 will win because because they have Basket in solo. He he's he's. I think Omega was better solo than his Basket, but everybody is saying Basket is better. I don't know. I really don't know between these two, but I think Basket Basket needs a lot of help from Andy but he is a good player of course he is but I think he is he is the lowest in Cloud9 but still awesome player and still better than other soulmates in SWC uh, in mid lane we have MLC Stealth MLC Stealth is just I don't know what to say about him he's just awesome because he was playing Scylla last year and he was hitting hitting everybody, everybody and everything. I I'm not good with Scylla. I don't like Scylla in mid, but he is awesome with it. He just kill everybody with his ultimate. He can get triple kill, quadra kills with only with Scylla ultimate, and that's why he's so strong. His Scylla is awesome. His Kukulkan is awesome. His Zeus is awesome. I just saw him playing on stream, 
and it was really fun. He's a really good player, and I like about him he has bought he bought every single mate in game. He had them all diamond, but he's not playing other positions and other stuff. He's playing only mages, and I bought only mages, and it's it's awesome, and really made my day when I saw it. Uh, another player is Endinster. Endinster is one of the best junglers ever. He is not. He, I think he will not surprise with picks like Weaken Ken when he's playing Athena and stuff like that. And Insta is more like four guy, circuit guy, and Humbat guy. That's why. So I think he will stick with his with his guards and with stuff like that. So if you can counter him, but I he can surprise. You. Of course he can. He is good player, awesome player. But still, I think he will stick with guards he really knows. I really don't know what he was playing last week or month, but I think he will play for circuit, just stuff he really can play and he is godlike with it. And I say dual lane for last because this dual lane is just awesome because we have connection between Jeff Hindla and Barracuda. They are friends they are talking to each other all the way all the time and they just know each other so much it, both are great good life players but together they are just the best in the world because barracuda is the best hunter ever uh, ever was no doubt about it just barracuda and jeff hindla he really knows barracuda so he can support him everywhere. He can support him with so back with Bacchus, with Gap, with Ares, with everything. He knows his guardians so well and knows what every single ability does, so that's why he is that strong and he's just awesome guy and I love him. I have crush on him because he is just awesome with Oh, he's awesome with guys he knows and he, he is one of the best not maybe the best player in the world not player support and connection with Barracuda is just awesome Barracuda is a really awesome player he knows where to be aggressive when to be passive and defend more wait for it he can just he can Stay, he can stay in his lane, then rotate and back in line. He just knows every single fact about this game, about Hunters. And he knows where his team is, what what is coming, what is going on. And just Barracuda. I think we will see st stuff like Apollo, Rama, maybe Kyron from them, maybe Hoji, I think. And I I think he will stick to these players because he's really good with them. He doesn't like Neef and stuff like that. He is more ability hitting hunter. So maybe Artemis. But I think Artemis is not the best choice. But if he can play Artemis, it will be good, I swear. And that's all team I want to talk about. Again, I think Cloud9 will, will win. Maybe Paradigm, maybe Fnatic. So, it's your choice what you want to put your tickets on. But, I think there is champion in Cloud9, Paradigm or enemy. So, probably, I think we will see great finale, finale great semi-final, everything. It will be awesome weekend. It starts in two days from now, maybe day from what you what are watching this. It's from seventh to ten January. So if you have free weekend, I suggest you to watch SWC. Just take your popcorn, take a seat and watch, or just visit Atlanta in Georgia. I can't because it's half planet for me. But I will watch it all the way and I hope you will too and you will enjoy it as much as I can. 
and this is my goodbye to you. I thank you for watching this episode. It was long. It was. I don't know what it was. I just want to tell you and wish you good luck in your games. And I hope I can see you in another video from Smite. It will be video from matches, not just talking. And and that's all I want to say to you guys. So good luck in your next game and bye bye.